So today I am going to show you how to make a beat in Logic using the Akai MPK Mini and how to map your controller. All right, so basically we're just gonna get right into the video. We're not gonna waste any time and we're gonna get to making some music. So when you open up Logic, the first thing you wanna do, you're gonna open up an empty project and this is what it's going to look like. So I would choose software instrument and from this list, go ahead and choose that empty channel strip. Mine is already defaulted there and we're just going to create that file. Normally when you're making a beat, I personally like to break it up into four different parts. You have your chords, drums, your lead, and your bass line. And that's usually my starting point. And then from there, once I have those parts together, then the fun comes in with how I arrange it. So we're gonna go with a tempo of 95 and we're gonna start with the chords. All right, so now that we have the chords, this is the part where I actually go in and start coming up with a drum pattern that I really like. For this part, we're gonna use the drum machine designer in Logic. The best way to do this is to click this plus sign right here. And again, you're gonna do software instrument and empty channel strip. And the reason why we're going to do that for the drum machine designer is that technically from this screen, it's actually not available. I don't know why, this is a common thing that a lot of people come across. Drum kit designer is not the same thing. So you're just gonna create empty channel strip, click create, and then over here in the list of instruments, if you scroll all the way down, drum machine designer is now there. So this is the drum machine designer. The way that I normally like to do my drums is I personally like to use sample packs every once in a while because usually those sounds and those kicks, those drums are already EQ'd for you. So it takes out an extra step that makes it quicker for you to make a beat. Go into the folders where you keep like your sample packs or your beats and all you're really gonna do is just drag and drop. So I'm going to use this kick right here and I'm going to drag it right here and then boom. And it'll automatically map with the MIDI keyboard just like this. So I found some sounds that I really like and I dragged and dropped it in and I'm gonna come up with like a quick drum loop pattern that I think will be a good starting point. So now that we have the drums, I'm going to work on the bass line. Let's do that next. Next up, let's figure out a lead. Two, three, four. Now that we have kind of like a nice, good foundation to a beat, let's add some like atmosphere and let's kind of make this come alive. I'm going to stick with this arpeggiator section, glass bowls. The next part about building a beat is always gonna be in your arrangement. We're gonna do some color coding, so that way I'm not driving myself wild. All right, cool. So I have it a little color coordinated, that way I know what parts are where, and let's just do some arranging. I'm gonna play that for you so you can hear what it sounds like.
So now that the basis of the beat is done, we're going to do a little bit of controller mapping and a little bit of automation to kind of bring this to life. Let's start with the base. We're gonna select the base and let's automate the gain for the base. So we're gonna select the base and we're going to need to add gain to this. So in this chain here, we're going to click this here and we're going to add the gain. Click Logic Pro here control surfaces, controller assignments. Once this window pops up here, you're gonna click learn mode here at the bottom. And then we're going to put this out the way. We're going to click the gain. And then I'm gonna turn this knob so that it knows which one I want it to do. So, and now if you can tell, now our gain is automated. So we're going to click this little squiggly line right here. And we are going to change this read on the base to latch and just hit the play button. And then all you have to do is just turn the knob as it's playing and it's going to automate. Once you're done with that, change that latch back to read and make sure you click save. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the final product for you guys. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any other questions or any type of videos that you want to see, drop them in the comments below. Make sure you uh, slap up that subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.